What's up? Welcome to the Existential Stoic Podcast. Do you struggle finding value in life? Does everything seem just bleh or like it's hard to, you know, know what matters? Well, today you're in luck. We're going to talk about how to see the true value in your life. I'm Danny, everybody. Randy, what's up, Randy? Yo, Danny. Do you ever struggle to see the true value in life? Dude, this can be challenging because sometimes it's really, really hard to be grateful for anything. Uh, And even though everything, even though you can be surrounded by stuff that you wanted at some point in your life, sometimes it can all just feel worthless. And you're just like, what what am I living for? Yeah, it is weird, isn't it? How that can happen? Because like, I feel that way. I feel like I have this fairly often where like, you just feel like everything just has no meaning, right? And it's like, you struggle to see any reason in doing this at all. (laughs) It's like very difficult. Well, hopefully, if you're in that position, you're in luck because we each have a few tips to hopefully help you see the real value. I'm going to start. My first one is don't compare yourself to others. We talked about this before, but I really do think this is an important one. You know, with social media and stuff, it's so easy to keep comparing your life to like the top 0.001% and get frustrated and like, you know, upset. But instead, compare yourself to your own life. Look at your, I find this is very helpful. Like, look at like where you're at now compared to six months ago or a year ago or five years. And you'll see real improvement and you'll see real value there. I think it's a very good method. Yeah, absolutely. There's nothing like comparison to make you feel like your life isn't good. But also, on the other (laughs) hand, you can go, you can go and volunteer like a soup kitchen or something like that and then recognize how good you actually have it. And then you can use comparison (laughs) to your advantage too. Uh. And that's a good point. Flip it to like the instead of looking yeah. at the top zero point zero one, the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. So my my first one is recognize that everything is working for your advantage. So this is the universe and everything working for your advantage. And most people are like, that's a bunch of BS. There's no way that it's doing that working to my advantage. My life sucks. It's terrible. Blah blah blah. Well, maybe. But how many times have you actually turned to what you're supposed to do in life? Like, granted, there's probably some stuff that you want your life to turn out a certain way. And you keep backing away from that. If you would actually, you know, sack up and go do it, life would probably support you. <laughs> you know, that is the funny thing, though, about that is I think it is there is truth to it. Because like every time you turn towards something and go for it, you end up getting it. You know, it's like if you work towards it, it's like but you have to also be it's almost like you have to be sensitive to the universe as well or to like, you know, aware of like self-aware enough to realize what you should be doing kind of thing. I don't know if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. My next one, actually, I two because I was thinking of Marcus Aurelius, but is face death, when particularly face your own death and accept it, because I think this is one of the ways in which you can really see value, the true value in your life, which is recognizing that this is your life now, right now. This is it. You have this one life and you have to do something with it, and it's valuable by default in a sense. <laughs> yeah, that's a great one. I have a friend who's about 15 years older than me, and we talk every once in a while he's like man you're really working on your bucket list and i'm like dude because i'm pretty aware i'm going to die like if i don't work (laughs) on it now when on earth am i going to get around to it and yeah Yeah. remembering that you're going to die is very good for helping to live your best life now so my second one is also from marcus aurelius and he says take a look at take a look at the things around you that you enjoy and imagine if you didn't have them, how hard you would work to reclaim them or to get them again, or how difficult that would be for you emotionally if you didn't have them and then cherish them. But also don't hold on to them too much that if you lose them, you should be disappointed. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, I, I do this all the time because I'll get in these phases where I'm just completely ungrateful for everything in life. And I think that's part of being human. Like there's no perfect people. Even even the Dalai Lama probably yeah. has bad days. And but. It, it'll happen once in a while where I'm just completely not grateful for anything. And then I just take a moment and I pause and I look around where I live and I'm like, hang on that thing I wanted for a really long time. That thing I wanted for a really long time, this life that I'm living, I wanted for a really long time, all this stuff. And then you can be grateful for it because it's actually here. Like this is what you worked for for so long to get this here. And you're not realizing it. No, it's like a really good one. I think, cause it's, it's natural for us to take things for granted, I think, and get used to stuff. And then when we get used to it, we stop seeing the value in it. And, you know, really, like, why we went for it in the first place. So I think this is a really good method to kind of like get perspective and reset yourself. 
and be like, oh yeah, wait, I did really want this. I really am happy I'm with this person. I'm really grateful I have, you know, these things in my life with this, this life in general, right? And it really helps you, I think, just kind of re sort of, I guess, kindle that gratefulness and that gratitude for life in general. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a good one. My last one is build yourself. So we often worry about like things like possessions, wealth, things like that. But I think we forget that like when we build ourselves, our character, we take that with us and there's real value in it because we don't ever lose it. You can lose money, you can lose property, you can lose all kinds of things, friends, but you're never going to lose yourself. So if you work on yourself, you bring yourself with you to each new thing and there's real value there, I think, actual value. Yeah, that's a great point. They say the more you learn, the more you earn. And it definitely holds true. Uh, so my last one is be grateful in advance for what you want, because there's a good chance that you'll get it as soon as you actually start working towards it. And, you know, I'm as guilty as anyone of doing this. You don't need to be a child about it just because you don't have it now. You don't need to throw a tantrum. <laughs> and like even understanding that even though you don't have it now, it's probably just a delay and a delay is not a denial. It doesn't mean you can't have it. It just means that right now it's not appropriate for you to have it. So actually growing up a little bit and recognizing that, hey, this thing is on my path as long as I'm working towards it. Why don't I be grateful for it now that I'm on that path? I know dude, there's so many times like during the week that I catch myself and I feel like I'm like a, a toddler. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, you I want it now. This is not fast <laughs> enough. And like things take time, you know, it does. You can't, you can't rush things. You can't make anything happen faster than it's going to happen. I think that's a really good one. And just growing up, right? Like it's hard to, we're all babies so often. And we want the world to focus on us and see how hard our pain is. But you know, at the end of the day, grow up, it'll come. So there you have it. How to see the true value in your life. This is a quick fix. We'll be back later this week with a full length episode. Please check us out on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Like, share, subscribe. It helps us out a lot. We will be back with another full-length episode this week. Until then, though, later, Andy. Later, Danny.